currants are amazing plants. We grow a wide variety from red to white to pink to black currants and yasta berry. And in this video, I'd like to spend some time and explain why we're so excited to grow these wonderful beings in our landscape and just how adaptable they are and how well they can fill niches that otherwise could be pretty challenging to figure out what to do with. Out here at the main Edible Acres site, our six acre site just north of Trumansburg, New York, we've got a whole lot of overstory that we're working with. In fact, this is the dominant context for most of the landscape. Most of you would consider this wooded or at least pretty darn shaded. And what I found over the years, in particular, black currant will crop very heavily, very readily in some pretty shaded conditions. And in fact, here in the middle of the woods with a little open glade, you can see the midday sun coming in a bit. It's only for a few hours and then it'll get shady again. We've got two rows of currants, in this case it's Titania and Crusader, just loaded to the brim with fruit. Now this is an area that periodically will have flooded conditions. It'll, the walkways fill with water during the winter sometimes, so it's pretty wet and it is fully exposed to deer browse all summer and all winter. And yet here in an open glade in the woods, many, many gallons of delicious medicinal fruits. Black currant, pretty fantastic. Here you can see it transitions from black currant and to the north of it are red currants. So the reds are absolutely well adapted at shade-ish conditions as well. They prefer more sun. I feel like they crop heavier when they're in full sun with really rich fungal soil, but they'll be willing to grow in the shade as well. And although I see the deer nibble them once in a while, this area being exposed to deer, uh, they still seem to do pretty darn well for themselves. Another extremely beneficial aspect to the currents is just how incredibly easy they are to propagate. In fact, this area in the woods here was established entirely by sticking dormant cuttings in the ground in the late fall, I would guess about three or four years ago now. And now we've got enough plant material in here to make an orchard of this size about 100 to 200 times over if we wanted. Very easy to establish, very easy to expand. In this area, we're at nearly 100% canopy. There's a large spruce just to the south and very mature white ash all around. And even in here, black currant was able to be established by cuttings. This was last year, just stuck in the ground. A weed whack around them once or twice, but then their canopy expands and they're dense enough that they should be able to handle weed pressure very easily. So here will be medicine and fruit bounding this pathway in an area of the woods that gets almost no direct sunlight. Productive in the deep shade, tolerant of very wet conditions, just about completely immune to deer browse and rabbit browse, delicious medicinal, but if that wasn't enough, it feels like this is an infomercial almost. Um, here you're seeing the black currant offering up aromatic protection for a young apricot. So this overstory is a seedling apricot. And when I transplanted that in, I stuck some current cuttings around it, which were very easy to establish. And when the hole was open to plant the apricot, they were easy to push in. Everywhere that I've added these black currants around the apricot, here's another one. This is a little more feral. There's some thornless blackberries growing in there. But the black currant seems to confer some real nice protection. And these have grown through uh, in an area that normally these apricots would have gotten nibbled by deer, but I suspect the black currants actually helped them sneak up above the deer browse line, all while I'm willing to make fruit and medicine too. We love a very wide range of plants here at Edible Acres, from the tiny herbaceous up to the towering tree. The current family, however, holds a very special place in my heart as just a being that has proven so reliable, so adaptable, so productive, and so amazingly delicious. We offer dormant cuttings in the fall and spring if you would like that to get started, as well as rooted plants. But there's no reason you can't meet with other folks in your area and say, hey, can I take some cuttings of that current this fall and try sticking them in your garden? 
We hope you get to enjoy these in your landscape. Thanks for watching.